Hi friends, welcome to my channel that is Spanish Made Easy by Poovi. In the last video we have seen that time to get to the time to get and what is the question for the time to get to the time. For example, K or S or T and O how to answer the time. In this video we will see some of the time phrases that we use when we are talking about time or we are mentioning about time. How do we use phrases to use phrases? So in today's video, we will see about the time phrases in Spanish. But before that, please do watch this video till the end. And I have given my books below. You can read your books and read the beginner's level to the beginner's level. And I have given some newspapers to the link. If you have to read and practice at home, if you have to read and practice at home, कुछ प्रैक्टिस करना है तो आप वो न्यूज़पेपर्स पढ़ के उसके मीनिंग ट्रांसलेटर में ढूंढ सकते हैं सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो वी विल सी द टाइम फ्रेजेस इन स्पैनिश सो आर फर्स्ट फ्रेजेस पोला मनियाना पोला मनियाना मींस इन द मॉर्निंग पोला तार्दे इज इन द आफ्टरनून यो बॉय एल सुपर मर्कादो पोला मनियाना आई एम गोइंग टू द सुपर मर्कादो आई एम गोइंग टू द सुपर मार्केट in the morning. De la tarde and por la tarde. De la noche, por la noche. De la mañana, por la mañana. Both are same. So de la tarde y por la tarde. Both are same. Al medio dia. Al medio dia, it is used for 12 o'clock noon. When it is 12 o'clock, like when I ask you, what time, what, what time is it? You would say al medio dia. It's 12 o'clock. Or you can also say, do say, de la tarde. But, al medio dia is more appropriate. Al medio dia. A la media noche. A la media noche is 12 in the night. A la media noche. Por la noche y de la noche is in the night. La mañana is tomorrow. Mañana is morning. And por la mañana is tomorrow. So it is tomorrow morning. Mañana por la mañana is tomorrow morning. Pasado mañana. Pasado mañana is the day after tomorrow. That is pasado mañana. Tarde. Tarde is late. The opposite of tarde is temprano. That is early. Tarde is late. Temprano is early and punto whenever we are talking or when we are mentioning time like I am coming sharp at 4 estoy venido son las 4 y punto so punto means sharp sharp at 4 o'clock ayer is yesterday ante ayer is the day before yesterday ante ayer the day before yesterday Anoche is last night. Ante anoche is the night before. Ante anoche, the night before. El lunes que viene, next Monday, like the Monday that is to come. The Monday that is about to come. So el lunes que viene. Always use el before the names of the weeks because they are masculine in gender. So use el. So el lunes que viene, the Monday that is about to come. El domingo que viene, the Saturday that is about to come. El domingo que viene, the Sunday that is about to come. So the next Sunday or the Sunday that is coming. Like in English we say the coming Sunday or the coming Monday. So el lunes que viene, el martes que viene. Lunes pasado means the last Monday. That is already past the last Monday. El lunes pasado. In the last Monday, I was walking at my park. El lunes pasado, he caminado en mi parque. La semana que viene, the week that is about to come. Or the next week, la semana que viene, 
whenever in a sentence you need to mention the, the next week. Like the next week I will meet my friends. So, like the next week I will meet my friend. La semana que viene yo voy a encontrar mis amigos. La semana que viene yo voy a encontrar mis amigos. La semana pasada is just I have written here pasada and here pasado because of the gender noun. If the noun's gender is feminine, you have to use the feminine word here. If the noun's gender is the masculine, you have to use the masculine word here. So pasado y pasada. La semana pasada. El, el año que viene. That means the next year or the year that is about to come. El año que viene, yo voy a estudiar español. The year that is about to come, or the next year, I will start reading Spanish. El año pasado, that is the last year. El año pasado. Durante el día, and during the day. During the day, I eat a lot. Durante el día, Yo como mucho. Durante el día, yo como mucho. So this is how we use the time phrases. And I am sure you have learned more or less all the time phrases in my, this episode. So keep watching my video. And if you have any doubts, please do write on the comment section. Thank you so much.